Secretary of State Pompeo today urging all countries to support Venezuela's interim president, Juan Guaido. Despite pushback from the Maduro regime and Russia and China, of course, most of North, South and Central America backing Guaido, Turkey, Iran and Bolivia, well, they oppose and support Maduro. Joining me now, Patrick Duddy, former U.S. ambassador to Venezuela, former deputy assistant secretary of state for the Western Hemisphere. Uh, ambassador, great to have you with us. And uh, right now, it looks like the United States is uh, has acted quickly to recognize Guaido, uh, Guaido and, uh, and Maduro is now reacting. Uh, it looks like things are going the U.S. way in, uh, in securing at least the, the embassy and preparing for a new regime. Your thoughts? Well, in the first instance, it's uh, important to understand that Hugo Chavez and Nicolas Maduro were together an unmitigated disaster for Venezuela. Um, the circumstances on the ground there are, are truly astounding. They had yeah. a million percent inflation last year. So this change, I think, was a long time coming. Um, there have been massive demonstrations in the past but they dissipated in the absence uh, largely of two things. Right. Um, I, I'm, uh, I'm, a, leader a leader behind which the, the, the masses um, could rally and international support. President Trump's decision to recognize uh, President uh, uh, Gaido has really um, uh, resulted in a cascade of recognition as right. much of the region and Europe and elsewhere all recognize that the, the circumstances in Venezuela are both very, very dangerous and could possibly become worse. Uh, the Security Council meets tomorrow. We don't expect much from that uh, because it is, after all, the United Nations. Uh, the Russians have moved in contractors to secure, uh, ostensibly at least, uh, Maduro. Uh, what are the possible flashpoints that concern you most in this? Uh, the Russians, the Chinese, the Iranians? Uh, whose influence and which of the big powers do you uh, see intervening, if at all? Well, I'm not sure that um, the Russians, the Iranians, or the Chinese could intervene, given their relatively modest presence on the ground. Mm -hmm. But the Cubans are another matter. They have long been very, very closely associated with the Chavez and Maduro, and Maduro regimes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have reports of the some 400 special operations uh, 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 contractors uh, with the Kremlin associated with the Wagner group. Uh, this, is, this is troubling, but uh, it looks as though uh, Gaido has, uh, has the country behind him, at least uh, much of it. Uh, and Maduro, is, uh, he's simply been rejected on the streets, at least. Uh, how, how long to get this resolved, do you think? Well, that's not entirely clear, but it, it, it is clear that um, uh, President Maduro has absolutely lost the confidence of the public and the kind of public support that earlier Hugo Chavez enjoyed. This is really his own fault as well, although, it, it, you know, let the record show, they have consistently over the years tried to blame the United States for their own yeah. Um, incompetence. Yeah, yeah. well, that, uh, that is uh, certainly the, the philosophy of the Chavistas, uh, uh, and, and more than one failed socialist state. Uh, Ambassador, Indeed. great to have you with us. Patrick Duddy, thanks so much.